Kabbalah is maligned by a lot of people because Kabbalah has been used for, as witchcraft. It has been used as magic and witchcraft has been used for ungodly purposes. So for people who don't understand that, there are four different kinds of Kabbalah and not only are there four different kinds of Kabbalah, when I first started teaching Kabbalah, I was saying, well, we teach philosophical Kabbalah, the, the, the Kabbalah that studies the scripture and it's harmless. And then at some point the Lord showed me, no, we have all four types of Kabbalah here. The difference is, the difference between what we do and magic and witchcraft is the spirit that is wielding the, the discipline. Kabbalah is a spiritual discipline. It's a spiritual philosophy and its practical aspect is a spiritual discipline. So the, the, the distinction is between the spirit that is wielding this tool, because Kabbalah is a tool. It's a tool. It is something that a spirit, uh, that a, a spirit uh, uses to manifest its will through the person who has an understanding of Kabbalah and is applying it practically. Practical Kabbalah is the practical application of the theory. But generally speaking, the term practical Kabbalah signifies magic. And the use of Kabbalah as, um, as a love potion, for example, or the use of Kabbalah to take, uh, to take vengeance on one's enemies, all of this is very wicked. Uh, God hates it and is punished severely, and we are to not ever use Kabbalah or spiritual power for personal purposes. It will bring rapid destruction upon us. But we do, we do apply the practical, we do have the practical application of Kabbalah. That's what practical Kabbalah is. It's the practical application of Kabbalah. But it is being used in this ministry to apply the principles that the Lord is teaching us of Christ and Kabbalah to bring to pass the resurrection of, of Adam in his righteous state, okay, first in the individual, it's, it's a practical Kabbalah here, is in, in christ and Kabbalah, is being used to fulfill the promises of the scripture, first for the individual, then eventually for the church, and then eventually for the world as the Lord leads, see? One man at a time. The practical application of the promises of the scripture, which means that what, what, are, what is the practical application? The end of death. You know? And uh, preceding the end of death is the end of, of aging, the end of sickness, the end of disease, right? and ultimately the end of death. So we do have the practical application of Kabbalah here. Not that we have seen the fruit or the results of it yet. But we teach the practical application of Kabbalah. Okay, we preach the practical application of Kabbalah to be used against the powers and principalities that bring death forth. In the, not, not on you, I can only do that for myself. See? However, if you have a death, a, a disease that's threatening you with death, then I pray against that disease, disease at your request. You know? I, am, I am practicing practical Kabbalah. If I am rebuking death, Commanding life to come forth. I am, I am applying, okay, the spirit that teaches me Kabbalah because my, my whole soul is immersed in Kabbalah. So when a prayer like that comes out of me, it is definitely a Kabbalistic prayer, and it is the practical application of Kabbalah. So the Lord has been teaching us here for years. <laughs> He's teaching us for years of, of spiritual principles. And, um, and, and applications of those spiritual principles that are designed to fulfill the scripture in us. And the scripture talks about a new soul. It talks about an old man and a new man. It talks about the, <coughs> the destruction, the ultimate destruction of the old man. And the, the renewal of the new man. The new man is renewed day by day until he is restored to the height uh, of Adam, that Adam was before the fall.